So today's test is going to be about the wet fire, and these things are probably one of my go-to favorite uh, tenders, just for the fact that, one, you can get a lot of usage out of them because you essentially shave them up into very small pieces, and as well, they are very weather resistant. But let's actually see what's going on here. Test. Our primary focus is going to be on ease of light and length of burn, or sorry, ease of light and ease of relight, and just overall how resistant this thing is to the temperature, or sorry, to the ambient weather around us. So things like wind. So the first thing you have to do with wet fire, just for those who don't know, you do kind of have to chop it up and dice it up like this in order to make it small enough to burn. So the initial disadvantage I personally have with wet fire is that before you can use it, you have to process it. And the processing isn't so much like with Tinder Quick where you just pull it out and you know, you, you know, like kind of spread it out with your hands, I guess, or your fingers, kind of like you would pull a cotton ball apart. With this, you kind of have to take a knife and you have to chop it all up, dice it all up. It's kind of like onions in a way. So yeah, so there we go. Now we're gonna use the same Mora and same Light My Fire to get this one going. And just like that, two strikes for this one. One thing I do really love about Tinder Quick, or sorry, Wet Fire, is once it's going, it goes like crazy. You guys can just see here that it just, it goes up in flames. I'm gonna burn off the rest of it off my knife. And there we go. So now let's try to put it out. And there we go. So it took some moderate amount of breath and some moderate amount of wind to blow it out. But sure enough, it wasn't that hard. So let's test a relight on it. And just like that, this is the thing that I love about wet fire so much is just like that, it just instantly comes back to life. So while we're running it, let's actually reset this clock and go from there. So we'll give it a few extra seconds because I'm sure this burning is kind of a little excessive. So I don't want to be too mean to its overall time, but we're at 15 seconds so far and I'll check back in with you guys when it burns down. Hey guys, so I'm gonna call it at this because in my opinion, it went out. A 20 mile an hour gust is going right about now. So you guys can probably hear, and that actually extinguished our little wet fire. But before that, I did stop the clock. It went for three minutes and 15 seconds. Now I'm sure if I wanted to cut this up like this and, you know, redo the whole process of chunking it up and, you know, cutting it all up, it would go again. But we're gonna consider this at three minutes and 15 seconds plus now once again my big thing is i want to see how it does in the actual elements that's why i brought it out here that's why i brought it out here and i didn't do this test where a lot of people like to do this test at their house or you know in their backyard because i feel like there the uh, situation or the elements are very controlled and you get to see the raw time but also it's not a very realistic test so this thing realistically only went for about three minutes and 15 seconds which, you know, I'm sure if the wind was a little bit less, it might have went for three minutes and 30 seconds, but realistically, it's in the three minute club, which certainly is not bad. It's actually really quite impressive. Considering its size, it's actually pretty darn impressive. Anyways, guys, that was the second test of the wet. So that was the second test in the fire starting challenge. It is the wet fire. My overall impressions of this fire starter is it still remains to be one of my favorite fire starters just for the fact that you can see while it does take a little bit of processing time up front it starts and restarts very easily and it burns forever allowing you to really use whatever tinder you have to use if the tinder's a little wet it can dry it out and burn it if the tinder is really combustible it'll just go so anyways guys that is uh, wet fire by UST.